Hello, in this video you'll learn all about setting up widgets in your reporting dashboards. You'll learn how to add them, clone them, and how to set their metrics, dimensions, data sources, and filters. Let's start from a new tab and click on Sprinkler Social. Here you'll find the Analyze section which houses all of your reporting dashboards, both standard and custom. Since we're talking about adding new widgets, let's focus on custom dashboards. By clicking Reporting here, you'll be taken to a list of your existing custom dashboards, where you'll be able to create a new dashboard in the top right hand corner, or open an existing one like this. From here, click Add Widget, and you'll be able to either choose a widget from the library, or create a custom one by filling in the fields on the left hand side. Let's say we want to measure engagement by platform during the work week. Start by adding the name and then choosing the data source. By default, the data source will show the type of data the dashboard is based on but you can change this to other types of data Sprinkler supports. In this case, we'll stick with social analytics. Next, you can pick your visualization type from these options and then move on to decide what you'd like to display in the widget. By clicking here, you'll open up the metrics and dimensions window, which is organized by these tabs along the top. Metrics are quantifiable measures used to track performance. Things like the number of comments or likes, case SLA or video length. Dimensions provide context for those metrics by dividing data into specific categories. Things like media type, account or platform, or time of day. For this widget, we'll choose social network as the dimension, and we'll keep it simple by choosing total engagements as the sole metric. Further down the page, you can apply filters to this widget to customize the view even further. Here, we want to choose day of the week, containing, and then just select the days. You can always add more filters, but for now, let's add the widget to the dashboard and you'll see it appear at the bottom of the page. Now to finish, let's say you've built a particularly useful widget that you want to copy into another dashboard, but you don't want to repeat that process. Well, by clicking the three dots here, you'll see the option to add to custom dashboard. From the following pop-up, choose the destination dashboard and tab and click add. And once again, the widget will be added to the bottom of the dashboard. You can now make any further changes to this widget if you'd like, such as adjusting the filter to show weekend engagement instead of weekday. If you'd like any more information on widgets, metrics, dimensions, or anything else covered in this video, you can check out the knowledge base. To find it, click your user icon in the top right, choose platform help, and then knowledge portal. From here, you can use the search bar to find exactly what you're looking for. In this video, you've learned how to add and clone custom widgets to your dashboards. Thanks for watching.